Back in 1666, that's over 400 years ago, there was a baker called Thomas Farada. His bakery was in Puddin Lane in London. On the 2nd of September, just after midnight, the Great Fire of London began. It was believed to have started in the bakery. People believed that Thomas had forgotten to put the oven fire out and a spark set the room alight. The fire spread quickly and by the end of the fire approximately 1300 houses and 87 churches had burnt down. The fire spread quickly because the houses were made from wood and they were built very close together. The weather had also been very dry and windy which caused the flames to spread quickly. In 1666 there were no cars, lorries or trains and animals were used to transport goods. This meant there were also many sheds full of hay which caught fire quickly too. Firefighting in 1666 was very different to how it is today. Firefighting was very basic and they only had water-filled leather buckets, axes and water squirters. Water was gathered from the River Thames. Approximately 7,000 people lost their houses and had to escape London to nearby fields. People carried their possessions on boats and they buried and hid valuables they were unable to carry. Watching all this happen was a man named Samuel Pepys. He began writing a diary of everything he saw. He also buried some fine wine and expensive cheese too. The fire continued to rage. Samuel Pepys had an idea. He recommended that houses were pulled down to stop the fire spreading. Fire hooks were used to pull the burning buildings down, but the fire continued to spread. Eventually, Samuel spoke to the Navy Admiral and suggested houses in the path of the fire were blown up. They used gunpowder to do this and after four days the fire was over. After the fire people began to insure their houses and fire brigades were developed. Sir Christopher Wren designed a monument to remember the Great Fire of London. It took six years to build and it was 61 metres tall. It can still be seen in London today. Now you've learnt all about the Great Fire of London, why not take part in our quiz? It's quiz time! Which year was the Great Fire of London? Was it 2021, 1666 or 1505? The answer is 1666. Who wrote a diary during the Great Fire of London? Samuel Pepys, Sir Christopher Wren or Thomas Fariner? It was Samuel Pepys. What were the houses made from? Metal brick, wood. The answer is wood. What buckets did the firefighters use? Plastic buckets, leather buckets, metal buckets. The answer is leather buckets.
What did people use to move their possessions? Cars, vans, boats. They used boats along the River Thames. How many days did the fire rage? Four, one, ten. The answer is four days. We've now reached the end of the video all about the Great Fire of London. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on all my other videos. See you again soon. Bye bye.